So a lot of you that watch me may be wondering why I'm making this video and it might seem like a non-important video but I'm going to tell you why I'm making this video and it's very simple really. It's so that you know who your allies are and who your I guess enemies are in the war against the evil ones right and it's not just en enemies and allies right that's just cut and dry but it's also where people stand and who's gonna do what and all of that right so Luke is somebody that when he gets on Tim cast he makes the show better just by him being there when he's not there because he's taking a few breaks and he's gone and come back gone and come back the show sucks. It's just that simple. And it is what it is. Now, Tim brings on all types of people and guests, right? Like he's had on Alex Jones and other people that are interesting or Michael Malice or whatever. So it's not always bad. But for the majority of the time, I just get really bored and I'm like, I don't care what any of these people are talking about. It's so boring. But when Luke is there, no matter who's the guest... It just makes the show better. It makes it more interesting and entertaining. And that's because Luke challenges whoever Tim brings on. Now, so I give you guys a little bit of, I guess, background with me and Tim Poole. I don't know him or anything, but I did on my old channel make a few videos about him. I was defending him against Ari the Rugged Man when Ari came on the show and was attacking him. So I, I overall, I think Tim is a good dude like he's a good person but he's too middle of the road for me he doesn't talk about things that I think he should talk about it is what it is right like I do find a lot of his guests interesting but for the most part like I said they bore me so I'm just like I don't even want to really listen to these people that much unless Luke's there because Luke challenges the guests so again Luke makes it interesting especially when there's politicians or people that have certain views and Luke, unlike Tim, is willing to go further in the things that he will say. Tim is not willing to go beyond the surface level, corrupt politicians, corrupt establishment stuff, right? Like the, the, the normal stuff that everybody knows, right? But Luke is willing to go further and talk about the deep state, the Illuminati, the, the stuff that people don't want to talk about. And the things that Tim won't say, right? So I think that Luke is a good balance to Tim. But also, again, Luke is somebody that I feel is more in line with my line of thinking, right? And he's willing to talk about the things that I want to hear. Or, like, I, I can't tell you how many times I've watched the show and Tim was saying something or one of his guests was saying something and then Luke was just like, bam, bam. He just said this thing and, and he just dropped the bomb on these guys and made them feel dumb or just corrected them and he just read my mind like he he will say things that I was thinking I'm like come on Luke say it say it say it. and then he'll say it and I'm like oh shit he said it <laughs> he said what I was thinking and if he's not there the things won't be said so long story short I don't want to say Luke will go as far as I do because I don't watch his main channel. I only watch him on Timcast. And Luke has his own channel called We Are Changed. So if you're interested in what he does on his channel, go look at that. But I just watch him on Timcast RL. And from what I see, it's good enough. It's good enough to tell me where he stands and what kind of person he is and what he, the way he thinks, right? And it's more in line, like I said, with the way I think. But whenever he's not on the show, I don't watch it. I'm just like, this is boring. I don't really care about these people. I'm not watching this crap. Like, that's just the way I feel about it. But long story short, I, again, you need, you guys need to know who the allies and enemies are, right? Or who the passive people are. Like, Tim is kind of middle of the road. And he's not a bad dude, but he won't go as far as Luke will go or Alex Jones or somebody else, right? And that's the thing that I think is Tim's weakness or weak point. And Tim has a lot of potential to, you know, change the world or ch at least change the U.S. And a lot of people tell him to run for politics and stuff like that. But again, 
If Tim ever did run for any political office, he would be just like any other politician. If he ever decided to, because he's just going to be middle of the road with everything. If anything, Luke should run for office, but Luke is like me, right? He doesn't believe that voting matters or that it makes a difference when you're voting for people that are corrupt. It's that simple. It doesn't matter who they put up there. They're all part of the establishment. They're all part of the deep state. They're all controlled puppets. So why would you vote for any of these people? All because they're telling you you have to. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to support this corrupt system. But most of Tim's guests are like normies, like mainstream normies. And like I said, once in a while, he'll have an interesting guest like Michael Malice or Alex Jones or whatever. But those are rare. Those are rare occasions where Tim's show is interesting. And it's it's popular. I'm not going to say that he's not popular, but that's because a lot of people don't have an alternative. They don't have anybody else to watch other than Tim. And I watch his chat and I see all the people saying Tim this, Tim that. A lot of people talk shit about him because he doesn't say the things that people want to hear or the things that people are thinking or the things that are the absolute truth. He He's too borderline middle of the road and people don't like that shit. And then you'll have somebody like Luke who will challenge Tim or challenge the guests and he'll bring up points that Tim won't. And I think this is a 5D chess move that Tim does with Luke where he knows what Luke is going to say. So he'll ask Luke, what do you think about this? And Luke will say everything that Tim won't say. And Tim will just sit there and just smile and just let Luke say whatever. And then he'll go on and keep talking like nothing happened. Instead of saying, oh, Luke, you're crazy or what are you talking about? Luke will say all this stuff and Tim will just watch and he'll be like, yep, okay, let's move on to the next thing. And he doesn't say he's wrong or anything. He just, I mean, they had an argument a couple of days ago and it was back and forth. It's debatable who was right and who was wrong in that argument. I thought they were both right. They both had good points. But regardless, long story short, Luke most of the time says the things that Tim won't. And I think that's why Tim has him on the show because Tim doesn't want to say these things, even though he does want to say them, but he doesn't. So he lets Luke say those things for him. Like I said, talking about the deep state and the Illuminati and he, (laughs) Luke even brings up lizard people and stuff like that. Luke brings up a lot of things that Tim will not say. That's all I'm trying to say. So long story short, Luke is just somebody else that I feel is a strong ally against the evil ones. And there's a war, right? The war is for this planet and for your freedom. And there's the deep state and the, and the evil ones that control the world and everybody else. So you're, you're either working for the deep state and the Illuminati or, you know, these fucking evil motherfuckers that control the world. And you're with them or you're against them. If you support them, you're with them, obviously. If you're controlled by them, you're with them. And if you're not, you're against them and you're fighting for your freedom and you're fighting for this planet. So those are the two sides, pretty much. There's really no other sides. So even somebody like Tim, who thinks he's pretty middle of the road, he's still on the side of fighting against the evil ones. But he just doesn't know it, right? And if he does, he's he's not talking about it. He's not saying it. He keeps it very normal. But anyways... I've said enough about this. I think you guys get the point. If you're interested in Luke's channel, like I said, it's called We Are Change. I don't follow it because I watch him on Timcast. I don't need to watch him like all day, all night, everything he does, right? Like I don't have time for all of that, but I'm sure his channel is good. I've seen a little bit of it and I think he has good material on there. So if you're interested, go look at it. And that's all I have to say. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this wherever you can. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.